Hey guys, so today I wanted to do a book to movie comparison slash review. I typically choose the book over the movie. Most of the time books are better than the, the films and a movie can kind of skip and, you know, exclude some information because, you know, they don't have a lot of time. But in this case, the book and movie I'm reviewing is The Princess Bride. So I remember the first time I ever watched The Princess Bride, I was in the fourth grade and my music teacher, Mr. Armstrong, decided to show us this movie. I remember it being just being enthralled, like watching it and just like, oh my god, this is the greatest thing ever. So this movie is hilarious. In fairy tales, love just kind of happens, and it's like love at first sight, and yada yada yada, spam, she's in love, and then he leaves. <laughs> the actors portray the character so well, but since I watched the movie before reading the book, that when I was reading the book, I imagined the actors that played them in the movie. William Goldman also wrote the screenplay for the movie, so I think that is probably why this movie followed the book pretty closely. Uh, he picked out all the best lines and it was word for word, you know, from the book and it just, it was amazing. In the film they have a, a little boy and his grandfather and his grandfather's reading the book to him. And in the book it is Goldman who was the little boy but it's his, it was, his father is the one who read him the story and it's not like a present day reading, it's like he's going down memory lane and talking about when his father read this book to him. <laughs> the commentary from uh, William Goldman in the book is just so funny. The humor was pretty much spot on. I'm really glad that the book was able to develop characters more, so like Inigo and Physique uh, had more kind of a backstory, and I'm imagining the actors who play them in the movie. Out of all book ad adaptations that I've seen so far, this is definitely my favorite because I think it just it followed the book as closely as it could, and even though it exempted a few things, I kept all the best parts. And I can't say whether or not how my if my my reaction or my feelings towards the book would be different if I had not seen the movie before reading the book, but I know that I love them both equally and I think you should watch and read both. I'm a huge fan of this book. I recommend it. If I were to rate it, I would totally give it 5 out of 5 stars. It's like a new spin still on a fairy tales and it's just a great comedy. But I'm so glad I got a chance to read it, and I hope you guys pick it up too. And if you do, or if you already have read it, just let me know your thoughts. I'd love to discuss the book with you. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next video.